Hi everyone, this is Khaled, and today's uh, follow up for um, the Xbox uh, scene situation, uh, which uh, have been blown in the last couple of days, uh, due to, to uh, the Xbox One research group has uh, found have found a way to um, gaining a user and kernel level code execution on System OS. Um, so I have covered this in my last video. And even I done uh, the uh, POC of running the uh, the script uh, on on game script application, and uh, as of today, uh, June eleventh, uh, that was the way that we seen the news on the June 9th, as it mentioned on the uh, the Xbox One research website. So, uh, whoever uh, had the chance to follow the steps and uh, get access to the uh, game script application and take his console offline that's uh, good news uh, because uh, as of today uh, Microsoft have uh, has uh, pushed a new update for Xbox uh, uh, firmware and have uh, closed this vulnerability and as we can see uh, uh, here uh, in post for Emma which is the researcher who worked on the on exposing the um, showcasing this security vulnerability, has said that it uh, it was around like nine hours. That was um, at three a.m. midnight in um, Eastern time. So Microsoft had pushed an update. Um, so the golden version was the ten point zero point two five three nine eight point four four seven eight. So this is the golden OS version. Which basically giving you an access, uh, or like having uh, access to the system OS itself. Uh, so if you have this firmware version, you are uh, in a good uh, standing. Uh, otherwise, uh, Microsoft now have pushed uh, the new update. So uh, it comes here as Emma has posted at 1 p.m. Eastern today uh, that uh, the kernel vulnerability is fixed. Uh, this is one. This is the one I used at uh, uh, Pound to Own, and that I'm currently exploiting on Xbox. And also mentioned that um, looks like a lot of all uh, other parent bugs fixed in this update too. So she's excited to read everyone's write-ups on that matter. So it, it's no wonder that Microsoft should like um, fix this bug quickly, uh, but it took them some time. So people have like uh, profited from that part. So. Uh, let's see what um, what what will what will come next. Um, in the meantime, on Microsoft Security Response, uh, we find this report that have been shown that there was a Windows kernel evolution of privilege vulnerability, and this was released in June 11th. And Microsoft have batched that. We can see here that the impact uh, evolution of privilege uh, privilege and the maximum uh, severity was important. Um, so we can go through all the metrics, but if you can come down here, you'll find the FAQ. So you can see that it's mentioned that an attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could gain system privilege. So we're still far from um, having uh, like something like Pyrus or something, but it's mainly for the system OS. So this is uh, the concern of this thing. So you can, for example, having access to the virtual machine uh, to run uh, like the applications that you normally do on uh, the dev modes, so you can run it in parallel on, on the retail version. So we'll see that in, in, in the following days, we can see that successful expo uh, exploitation of this vulnerability requires an attacker to win the race conditions. And this was uh, acknowledgement by Emma, which is uh, which uh, we have here her tweets and all this uh, thanks to she, thanks to her. Um, working with the trend micro and Microsoft recognizing uh, the community. So it's like something like Hacker One thing on PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation scene, but this is mainly like Microsoft type of thing. So anyway, um, I wanted to share this quick video with you guys so you can uh, know now that the security uh, bug have been fixed. Uh, don't attempt to take your console online. This was a for post Xbox One and Xbox Series S and X. So uh, as of now, uh, everything is patched. Uh, and even if you have uh, access to the older software update itself, like if you do, if you try to do an offline update or something like that, that unfortunately 
uh, it will not uh, help you in that part because it's like a bit a little bit complicated and at the same time you need to have access to uh, the application which is mentioned on the news recap here which is game script which need to be downloaded from the um, Microsoft marketplace so uh, anyway if you had it stay put and let's see what we'll be holding uh, so that that's it for today thank you guys for um, staying up and please if you like the content please don't forget to like share and subscribe and see you on the next one bye for now